Let's unbox a new machine. I'll be right back. So what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing great. So I got to looking. I, I'm like, I need a step up, step up machine for my grandson. You know, he's, he's six, coming seven. He's getting taller. And I wanted something feature rich without spending a lot of money. And so I started browsing Amazon. And of course, I'm looking for a bounty hunter because a lot of the great metal detectors I've met in my life, they all start from Amazon. This is the box you get most of the time with most of the bounty hunter detectors. An environmentally friendly, no ink, but let's see what's inside. All right, y'all. I got the, I already made the cut, so everybody's good. What is the metal detector? Boom. It's the Discovery 2200. Look, public service announcement. Pay attention right here if you've never metal detected. This is the most important contents of the box. Hang on. Let's see what else we got. Let's get this cover box over there. Now listen, along with the great price, this machine right here has a five-year warranty. And to make it even better, this baby's made in the United States of America. Look at that. Oh, wow. This is nice. See, I wanted something with target ID, digital target ID. And this is the cheapest way in the door on that. So, yeah, stoked about that. As you can see, the armrest comes already attached. And it's totally adjustable. There's a hole behind there, one there, and one there. You want to get that right you know balances everything when you're metal detecting all day so let's keep going see what else we got in here of course we've got the end rod here right there all right and in here is our search coil this thing is waterproof now that's the search coil this part your control box is not waterproof, but your search coil all the way up to the control box and your wire, well, they are. Look at that, baby. Oh, I just love peeling those stickers, man. All right. All right, so here's all our contents laid out and ready to go. Just take a look at that. Look at that, man. That is nice. These buttons have a nice little tactile feel to them. Yes, sir. Like that. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our search coil and we're going to mount it to our end pole. Now, now, check this out. It's got this little button under here. Before you install your coil, you need to always make sure that button's turning down because it's going to lock in one of these holes when you start setting it up for your length. So you want to make sure it's pointing down and we're going to take the end that round end right there we're going to stick it right in there and line it up and push our nut through our screw through put our nut on got our coil bolt together now then we're going to take this thing we're going to go right in here just like this we got to push this button Slide it up in there. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna say the last hole for me using it Just guessing All right, we've got it locked together Let's Take our rubber band off You want to come up and over to the top and guys you want to you want to wrap, wrap your wire around it's gonna be stiff and All that but it will loosen up and get a lot better And look this is important too. This is important right here. This thing's only gonna go in one way and you want to push it in there. You want to line it up and just push it up nice and tight, just like that. You don't want any gaps right there. A gap's going to cause you problems. And that's pretty much got it. Now you can put you a, uh, a Velcro keeper right here. It didn't come with one, but I've got one inside that I'll put right here. Just kind of keeps that wire right there. But that's just how easy it is and what it's supposed to look like when it's put together and like i said earlier in this video spend some time on this take your time it's not many pages we're going to go over some of this in just a few minutes 
but just uh, just look through this. This is the most important part of this entire purchase that you've made, is this book right here. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we got this baby together. Exactly how it's supposed to look. That's the way your coil goes right there. Check her out. All right, now it is time to put batteries in it. Let's talk about something. Alkaline batteries are a must. Now this is a cheaper alkaline battery. These are better alkaline batteries. What you want to do is get two good alkaline batteries. Don't mismatch cheapies with good ones, old ones with good ones. You have trouble that way. And don't, whatever you do, don't use heavy duty. Don't use heavy duty batteries. All right, hang on, we'll pop them in. I'm gonna try to do this part from behind the camera. See right here, you got a little tab. Pull up on that little tab. Pull that door open. It slides forward pops right out just like that and as you can see on the inside there's two slots and it's got the positive and the negative marked clearly on the plastic so you want to be sure your positive and your positive and your negative and your negative are lined up on both sides it just got louder both batteries in one battery it will work with one battery up obviously it's not as loud let me see I'm sure i'm getting everything right for you here yep there we go now once you have your batteries in you can take your tray like so and it sits right on top just like this just like that this is not easy from back here with a camera right in front of my face and it pops right in. All right, we got this baby together. We got batteries in her. We've read over the entirety of the instruction manual that comes with it. And what does this on top say right here? Let's take a look. Reduce sensitivity if detector beeps intermittently or target is difficult to pinpoint. Now, another important tidbit. You don't always need to jack your sensitivity through the roof when you get there. That's your sensitivity on this thing. It's really easy to see. This button is a plus and a minus for your sensitivity. And it just turns it up and down. Now, your sensitivity is how much power you're pushing to the coil. And the coil sending a signal into the ground. And we're getting a signal back, so... That's, that's how much gas we're mashing, so to speak. Um, so, you know, this machine has a little bit of everything. It's got a target ID on here. It has a full discrimination over here. It has zap, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Zap's cool because you can be over a target you don't want. Hit the zap button. That target's gone. That target's out of here. Now, very important side note. This machine fires up in all metal mode every time. It doesn't have a memory. So when you cut this machine on, you're not going to be able to change discrimination functions until you change your mode. And here's disk AM right there. You got to go to disk mode to be able to change your discrimination settings. And we're not going to go through the whole thing about your discrimination here. It's all in the book. But you would change your discrimination settings here by just pushing that button. And each one of those where you get that is blocking out a particular target, iron, yet so on and so forth, like many other detectors. Most people would just want to run without the iron because uh, no telling what ends up in the rest. You know, gold comes in down here at five cents a lot of times. Pull tabs, you get gold. All kinds of things. So you want to keep that in the back of your mind. Always, always, always. This machine is beautiful. I like it. I think it's going to be cool. My next video, we're going to put it in the dirt. Maybe put it in the test garden. Thank you guys for joining me for the unbox of the Discovery 2200 by Bounty Hunter. See y'all next time.